my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon rising venus for the month of april 2021 how are you doing sagittarius i hope you guys are doing great how was this full moon for you guys Do you guys feel the major shake <laughs> emotionally or did it just pass you by <laughs> comment below for those of you guys that are new to my channel welcome welcome for those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while welcome back my lovelies let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of april 2021 okay one more bit of resistance going on there Sagittarius all right so in regards to communication with the element of air we have the tower I think there was I think it was Aries that experienced uh, this card as well and the tower is a major shake this is something that is uh, very quick and very sudden for some of you guys, you may be receiving news that is very unexpected news, something that, like I said, it was sudden, you weren't expecting it, you weren't prepared. It's definitely going to change your perception or your, for, I'm hearing for some of you guys, this is going to change how you view a specific individual. Uh, it could be news that comes to you, um, like rumors, some type of information that you're going to be getting in the month of April where you were not expecting it and it's really going to trigger you. We're going to see a little bit deeper into that. Now, in regards to your finances and career, we have the Eight of Swords. So there's a lot of stagnation here. For some of you guys with the Tower and the Eight of Swords, I feel that you may... Okay, so I'm, in, I'm getting a few messages and I'm just going to put it out there. For some of you guys, be careful in the month of April not to be driving while drunk. So if you're driving and you're drinking, get an Uber or a Lyft or something. Um, or get a designated driver. You don't want to test your luck uh, because I do see you making an irrational decision that later on you may regret for others of you this could represent getting news about your work or where you're working right now where they're going to start to make cuts or they're thinking about uh laying people off um and this is going to bring a lot of tension a lot of tension especially if there's people that are dependent on your income sagittarius but I feel that the positive in this is it's almost like you've entered this new cycle where spirit wants you to become the best version of yourself. And for some of you guys, you haven't really made changes. So it's almost like now the universe is stepping in and it's really going to shake the ground that you thought you were stable on to get some type of reaction out of you. So again, if you've been dealing with struggles in regards to your finances and in regards to your career, there's instability there. It's time for you to wake up Sagittarius and to start making decisions, um, smart decisions about your finances. Because I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could be that you've been struggling financially um, but you're refusing to either get out of your comfort zone or you're refusing to make a change, yet you're expecting a change. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're saying is this, this, what we've been doing is not working. So I'm going to bring some type of, some type of chaos, because that's how it's going to feel. It's going to feel like you weren't expecting this. Um, but it's to get a reaction and to get you going, Sagittarius. So ultimately, I feel that it is for the best of your interest. For some of you guys, whether this is you relying on someone or whether it's someone else relying on you, this needs to change and it needs to come to an end 
so that you can continue on the path that is going to lead you to more stability. Um, but it's going to take for you to get out of your comfort zone or to get out of a situation that is no longer working for you. Now, in regards to the obstacle to overcome, oh my goodness, what the heck is going on, Sagittarius? You have the Nine of Swords. A lot of worries, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of instability is what you're... And this could be internal as well. It doesn't have to be something major um, that, you know, usually the tower <laughs> with negative cards, it is definitely a shakeup. Um, but I see you guys like very much because it's air, um, because it's swords, it's very much in your head. Um, you're, you, if you're feeling stuck, you're feeling depressed, anxious, you're feeling like there's a lot of instability in your life right now in regards to finances, in regards to relationships, and there's anxiousness that's building up. Um, I feel you guys, like for some of you guys, you've been sweeping certain things under the rug for like long enough. And this is spirit really intervening right now and saying, Sagittarius, we need to change the course of your life. And in order to do that, I need to get you out of what you're used to. So there is major transformation that's going to be happening for you guys. Very heavy energy. I do want to put it out there. Now, in regards to emotions and relationships, the 10 of wands. Okay. So I'm getting a much more clear uh, message here. For some of you guys, you've been in a relationship long enough where you've known that the partner that you've been with for quite a while has a direct impact and is directly the detriment of you not being able to progress or of you not being able to move forward. It's almost like when you're trying, they keep dragging you back. And this could be very toxic energy. I feel that for the month of April, there's going to be a situation where you're going to snap. And again, I keep hearing you don't want to have legal issues or legal problems. If it gets to the point of a physical altercation, Sagittarius, walk the fuck away from it, okay? Whether this is your partner really pushing you, pushing you, pushing you to get a reaction, to get you to get physically, physical with them, walk the fuck away from that. Because if you don't and you react in the spur of the moment, things could get out of hand really quick. Now, I see you guys coming to the understanding, and this is not because you've chosen. This is because circumstances are going to happen where you're going to be able to see clearly and concisely what this person is all about, and you're deciding not to deal with that anymore. Or you're deciding to put the struggle to stop fighting or stop trying to force this to work out, and you're releasing yourself from it. And this is to the highest good for you, Sagittarius. Now, for others of you, this could be a situation in regards to work where, like I said, there's been instability. There's not much growth that you're experiencing right now. If anything, uh, for a lot of you guys, you may be struggling financially. And there is a fear connected to your anxiousness in regards to the future, in regards to where do I go from here? Do not let this catch you off guard. If things are not going good in your workplace, start branching out, Sagittarius. Start looking for a better job. Stop settling. Stop allowing yourself to be stuck in this situation and to not fully feel like you're in control. Because yes, circumstances and situations happen in our life that sometimes are out of our control but you still are in control of how you react to that. It's better to be prepared. Again, if you feel like you've been working less hours and you feel like something is off and there's talks about um, you know, people getting cut off or being laid off, anything like that, you know, start preparing yourself. Be smart about it. Make methodical moves that are going to help you so that you don't feel like this was out of nowhere. Do you see what I'm saying? A lot of you guys could be dealing with situations that are in connection with family dynamics 
where there's a lot of instability, there's a lot of hostility. And what they're telling us, put the struggle down, Sagittarius. Stop carrying other people's responsibilities. Stop, you know, the, the constant wanting to appease other people at your own expense, at your own happiness expense. It's time for you to learn. And, and I know, okay, so for some of you guys, this may not resonate. For others of you, this is like direct to the point. It's time for you to have or stop having high expectations of those that have let you down on multiple occasions. And it's time for you to start having high expectations from yourself. Make it happen on your own, Sagittarius. Now, spirits, beautiful, beautiful. Spirit's message here is the wheel of fortune. You've been struggling. You've been going through difficulties. There's been a lot of strain, a lot of worries. But this tower moment needs to happen to snap you the fuck out of it, Sagittarius. Don't be complacent. Stop settling. Through this, your luck is about to change. Opportunities are going to start to align. If you're dealing with a toxic person and you've been dealing with this energy for the past couple of years, your luck is going to start changing the moment you walk away from this destructive connection. And that is a fact. If you're not dealing with this right now, you will be going through this in the month of April. And the moment you decide to walk away from this toxic energy, you start to see synchronizations. You start to see things unfold in a positive. You start to see people showing up. And this is spirits bringing them to you to help you on your path. Let's see what the oracles have to tell you. For this month of April 2021. I feel that for the month of April, Sagittarius, I'm going to be real honest. It is up to you if this makes you or breaks you. And when I say break you, I don't mean in a, you know, literally break you. I mean in the sense of if you don't rise above the occasion and you continue to be dealing with this toxic energy, this toxic environment, or making stupid decisions, you're going to be dealing with this type of energy for the next coming months. If you decide to walk away, make yourself a priority. Start relying on yourself. Stop blaming other people for what you're going through. The moment you take self-responsibility and say, you know what, I have the power to change this and I'm going to change it and you start to get out of your comfort zone, that's when everything starts to change for you. And I feel that for a lot of you Sagittarians, this has already been happening uh, since the eclipse on your sign. But I feel that there is a culmination that's happening right now where spirits like I'm going to push you for growth, whether you're ready or not. Anxiety. I think that's very clear. That's what we've been seeing. A lot of worries. A lot of anxiousness about the future. Or worries about instability. Do not become a victim of circumstance. Rise above it. Say yes, you know what? In the past I've made mistakes. Or in the past... I've allowed other people that continuously keep making mistakes to let me down. I'm no longer going to deal with that. Love yourself enough to walk away from what's not serving you. Walk away from that job that is a struggle, that is not even giving to you any type of stability. It's just barely getting you by. And start applying for a position that pays more money or that there's more stability there. Believe in yourself and you will start to manifest these things, Sagittarius. But anxiety or worry, being still and stuck because you're anxious and you don't know what to do, it's not going to bring change to you. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.